Hey everybody, welcome to lesson number 14 of My Personal Wellness. In this video tutorial is going to be going over the personal fitness page of our website. So let's take a look at what we should have had done at this point. So if you remember, we've uh, inserted a Google Doc called 2015 Personal Fitness. Uh, real quick side story, if you guys see this Google Docs error, um, let's just close that for now. I haven't noticed that it really stops you in your tracks, but um, hopefully that doesn't keep popping up. So let's get back to the show here. Uh, 2015 personal fitness document should have been inserted and you should have answered those questions. If you haven't done that, make sure that you do insert the document and do um, answer those questions. Um, underneath that, if you remember, um, we should have inserted a 2015 fit chart which was a Google document, also a Google spreadsheet. Now some of you guys had um, problems doing that because Google was having a, a bit of a problem that particular day. Um, what we did, if you remember, we actually changed the layout of this page. I'm just getting it in there real quick. This would be a nice refresh for those of you that already did it. But we changed the layout to something called a two, one column. And in, once we change the layout on the one column, we put the Google document on the top part of that bar right there. And we put the Google spreadsheet right into the second column. So it should look like this. Again, the layout went from one column, simple, to one column. And then you can see right underneath there's the Google spreadsheet. And we just did the, the insert uh, document. Okay, so that's what you guys might have missed in a couple sections. Did have that problem when Google was having a problem. All right, so we have a Google um, document that's inserted. There's that error again. Let me just close that real quick so it's not a distraction. Underneath there is that spreadsheet piece that we're talking about. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually type the numbers into this. In order to do that, we're going to have to open up our Google Docs and open up our 2015 fit chart with your last name and your first initial. And again, I want to make sure that we always check and make sure that you've shared it with the 2015 MPW uh, teachers. And I'm just doing that right now. It takes a little time to load, and there it goes. Okay, so you have to do this for all of your documents, especially your website. Uh, most of you have already done that. I'm just going to click on Done. So, now here we are. So I want to make it clear, you have a girl standards and you have a boy standards. If you're a girl, you're going to be deleting the boy standards. If you're a boy, you're going to be deleting the girl standards, but uh, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So right now what we're going to do is we're actually going to type into this. Um, let's highlight our age first. So I'm going to be doing a boy standard for the um, row number 17, and I'm just going to highlight that and I'm going to put the text background to yellow this way I'm making sure that I'm typing and getting the right numbers so my whole row is highlighted and I'm going to type in my results for that one so I did 120 in my pacer test and then I did an 8 for my sit reach and I did 29 push-ups just barely made it almost had a problem with that and then last but not least in my um, curl ups I did 52 I actually had a really good day for that so then so now we're done so we have our information that our physical education teacher gave us so what we need to do in order to chart this we need to create something on a new spreadsheet alright so we're gonna click on add a sheet and we're gonna rename this sheet thanks for your patience because I'm doing this live um, we're we're gonna rename that sheet see it's a sheet number 10 here's me you have sheet number four it doesn't really make a difference there we're gonna rename that and we're gonna call it my data okay so we want to keep these nice and organized so we know what each worksheet actually has for information okay so now we have a blank sheet and to save you guys some time instead of watching me just type all these numbers in we're basically gonna create a chart and I kind of cheating here a little bit I'm using something that's already there let's see if I can grab it all it's a little bit slow and let's go back now let's do paste and hopefully this works and I'm going to change my color back to black all right there we go so I just saved myself some time you guys are going to need to create on the my data worksheet a table that looks like this so in the columns so column A row 1 has nothing 
but in the comms is health fitness zone, my performance, and health fitness zone. Okay, we have a pacer test, sit reach, right angle push ups and curl ups, and then you put your data. And again, I got all this data from the standards page, okay, for my particular age. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to drag this sheet and kind of move it over to the left. If you can see that, it's kind of like a nice click and drag. And I'm going to drop it there. Again, I want to keep my data organized. Our next step is we're going to actually highlight our data table. So I'm going from column A cell so this is cell A1 and I'm going to drag all the way over to column D and row 5. We're going to click on the insert button and we're inserting a chart. So I could do a lot of different things on this tab but I'm going to insert chart. There we go. And now we got a bunch of different selections just like we were in Microsoft Excel. Okay. So right now the default says use run one as headers in the editor and use column A as labels. So that looks pretty good. But let's take a look at the chart itself. This chart right now actually doesn't really tell a good story of what we did. Okay. I like the key up over here. I like the labels, but I'm not quite sure that this makes sense to what we're doing. This right now is an area chart. So let's click over here on the bar chart if this makes better sense. Okay, not so bad, but uh, I had a different idea of what my chart was going to look like. Let's see if it's a combo chart. Mm, not quite. And this is just like Goldilocks. And yes, this one's just right. Okay. Now it may sound funny, but again, remember your audience needs to look at your charts and kind of decipher what you're trying to get a across. Okay. So right now that looks pretty good. I've got my pacer tests at reach, right angle push ups and curl ups just in my table. I've got a key over here and I think I need a couple more things. Let's see what the other tabs do. If I click on the chart tab in the editor, okay, I've got more selection there, but I think I'm already going to stick with my column. If I click on customize, now this is what we want you to do as far as naming these charts. Okay, the name of this chart that we're going to use is you're going to say my chart or we're going to call it my fit chart and let's put a date in there and I actually took this test on October whoops, 24th and 2011. Now remember we want to kind of get these these dates lined up so that we can basically see growth. Okay, So the layout, you can change the layout as far as where the legend is. I kind of like it over here on the right hand side. You can select top, bottom, or none. As far as the axis on the vertical, okay, these are units. Okay, So some of them are um, minutes, some of them are you know, whether or not you get a, uh, a number, a unit number. So we're going to leave the axis for vertical. Um, units kind of blank but let's go to horizontal and let's give it a label okay which is going to be down here and let's call this exercise event spelling always helps make sure you're checking your spelling okay feature stack we're not going to change that now we have an opportunity to change our let me just hit enter. Hopefully that'll put it right up in the chart. So there it goes. So we've got a chart title and I've got a label for my horizontal axis. Let's do this. Let's take a look at what the style can do. We can do columns and background. I'm going to change the backgrounds for this just so it's a little bit more visually interesting. So I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to change the health fitness zone to yellow. And I'm going to go over here and change my performance. I'm going to call this one, let's do it green. And the last but not least, I'm going to change the high fitness zone. I'm going to do it something like a blue. Okay, so we have a general idea of what's looking on. So, kind of visually interesting. Um, I've labeled everything. Um, it's looking pretty good. So, let's insert this right now into our spreadsheet. Okay, so you notice right now what it will do is it will insert a chart that's kind of right in the middle of your data table. All right, so I've got my key here. It looks like I got some interactive pieces. We'll, we'll go in a second. But let's click up in this left hand corner right here where it says chart. And we're going to move the chart to its own sheet. Okay, so now you're going to notice you've got my data and we just added something called chart number one. Let's rename that before we talk about anything else. Rename that and let's just call that my chart. 
you're going to hit OK. All right, and let's push this all the way over to the left, and you're going to see why I'm doing that in a second. Okay, so that should be the first thing. So you should have my chart, my data, and boy standards or girl standards, depending upon which one you're, you're, you are. Um, again, delete the one that you don't need. So what do we have here? We have a chart that looks nice. It's got all the data points that we need. It's actually interactive. If you mouse over it, it'll say what, what unit is what. I did my sit reach. I was in, I was within standards for that. I kind of fell in. Oh, I'm not doing too bad in push-ups, but I actually exceeded um, curl-ups. All right. So now this is done. Let's take a look at what happened when it's already inserted into our personal fitness page. Okay, it doesn't look like it's there yet. What you need to do, as always, after you do something in Docs, you need to hit the refresh button on your browser to make sure that's updated, and it should automatically update your Google site. And that's pretty much it. So what you now are going to see when all said and done, you're going to have the tables in my charts. There's my chart right there. I'm going to click on that. And this is what we're looking for. Okay, you're going to have your chart, your data, your standards, all in one nice pot. And that completes this part. Um, what I would do if I were you, I would raise your hand and just kind of check up with uh, a teacher to just check and make sure this is good. Um, if you have any questions, if you don't have any of these documents, please uh, email myself, um, Mr. Honahan, or Ms. Swan for assistance. Okay, I hope this helps.